Hello and welcome to my channel. It is July 8th. It is a Thursday and I'm actually uh, loosely following or paying attention to the job market. I'm really not paying attention to because I'm already employed. But I'm getting the sentiment that Americans don't need jobs. I mean, I'm actually hearing conflicting reports. But the, the bottom line is uh, with unemployment benefits and the... Um, added on from the federal government people really don't want jobs or need jobs because they're making money off of taxpayers while they sit at home or go on luxurious uh, vacations or just maybe even going back to school to better themselves whatever the reasons they do not want to go back to uh, work because unfortunately when you're off for a year you really don't want to get back to work and if the government's paying you a living wage to stay home, and if you get back into the job market, it's going to be paying you less than what you kind of got into accustomed to. So I kind of understand the burdens and also understand the arguments that uh, you really can't live off of like $10 an hour minimum wage, which I completely agree. But if you are in your 30s or 40s and still making minimum wage or even a little bit above minimum wage, you're doing something wrong in your life. And that's just my opinion that I strong heartily agree with. But however, there is an, a silver lining. Uh, job market. Teenagers step in to fill employment spots. Analysts suggest that the part of the reason for the speed of the economy recovery in much of the country comes from teenagers being willing to fill jobs in restaurants, retail, entertainment, and other fields where older folks will not. These kids are often making 15 to 17 an hour and getting bonuses or help paying for classes because they have a very little competition for the posts. Yeah, it's because, you know, back in the day, you had 30s, 40s, maybe sometimes in their 50s, and, of course, in their... Uh, late 20s competing for the same job but currently these lower wage jobs or entry-level jobs there's not enough applicants so this is a um, prime prime job opportunity for teenagers and in their uh, lower 20s they're going to college to earn a little extra cash while they go to school or where they still live at mo their their mom or dad's or their parents it doesn't matter they still live at a home and just really just need gas money or date money or prom money. So they're willing to do to put in the work and actually kind of build a work ethics. And I mean, that's kind of like how these lower paying jobs are meant. At least in my, in my mindset is you, you do the crappy jobs when you're, when you're a kid and when you're going to college and you build that work ethic up. So when you actually get to the real job or the real career, you actually have something to offer the the company that you're you're being hired to. Uh, of course, and there's this one right here. Uh, I think it's the labor market is out of whack. Job openings hit a record high as hiring slows. A lot of people, I, I, like I mentioned earlier in the video, they could get a job, but the issue is the job is going to pay less than what they're getting from the government. So it's creating this really weird warped sense of entitlement or not maybe even entitlement is not the right word maybe it is i don't know but it's pretty much just showing that maybe they don't want to work in that field anymore they don't want to work for for that that wage and it's, and here's and here's the thing there's going to be a short period there's going to be maybe a week or two weeks or maybe even three weeks uh once the companies actually say hey we can't find any employees at salary x so we're going to add two dollars or three dollars or five dollars or even even somewhere upwards towards twenty dollars to, to the price range that they're willing to pay someone in that short period of time they're going to get a lot of applicants and those are the people that are able to get jobs then are probably going to benefit the most uh the reason why the job wages is stagnated well there's multiple reasons but the main reason is that if i am paying five dollars an hour and i get a hundred applicants that doesn't force me as a company to pay more than five dollars an hour regardless of what the job is worth but now what they're seeing is the opposite is that i'm paying five dollars an hour no one wants to work and if i do get an interview with a candidate 
they're just bouncing or not following up. So therefore, there becomes a, a, an issue as is there. Like the number of vacant jobs edge up to 16,000 as a new series high back in 2000 of 9.21 million. The Labor Department opening the labor turnover survey showed Wednesday that the that left the job openings rate steadily at 6%. For context, as payrolls sit down to 6.8 million from their pre-pandemic levels, according to the June report released separately by the Labor Department last week. While the latest increase was modest, May is the third straight month that the record openings of the economy reopens and determined workers heat up, says Daniel Zhou. Economists at Glassdoor reflecting the challenges that many employers face in attracting the right workers. Actual hires fell 85,000 in, in May. Then, of course, we have this one right here, which is from Forbes. The job market is heating up, and so are angry complaints from job seekers. Keep in mind, you're a job seeker. You're not entitled to an interview, an email back, a follow-up email or any of that, although that does set a uh, bad taste or bad presence if you were to accept it. Uh, the corner right here, some of the complaints or the compliments have a central theme. They include outrage over being pressured to undergo three to ten interviews over six months or more. Some are even asked to take a test, do projects, or sit down for an invasion cycle metric exams as a lack of feedback along and long periods of absence of communication and no appreciation extended to the applicants for their time. Rude and dismissive treatments is commonplace after all of the meetings they are complaining of getting ghosted. Meeting with the number of people during the interview process has its advantage. The candidate can get a better feel for the job company and its corporate culture and whether or not they feel that they'll be a good fit. Ultimately, when you're roped into five or ten interviews, it's certain percentage of them you don't know anything about the role. The candidate and what the person will do is easy for one or two of them to say, I'll take a pass. Like I said, these are just games that companies pay uh, play. I want to take it personally. Well, actually, I probably would take it, some of it personally. But these are just ways to weed out, let's say, going back to the, the first analogy, if I'm paying $5 an hour and I have 100 applicants, I want to make sure that I'm getting the best qualified candidate. Now, usually if I'm going to go like through this extreme, like really like this extreme right here, or even 3 to 10 interviews, the pay is not going to be $5 an hour. It's going to be closer to the 30 an hour, maybe 25 to 30, or even salary of um, anywhere between 60 to 70 and of course above. So the higher the pay, the more, um, let's say the more requirements, the more the more tests, the more scenarios I'll probably throw at them just to make sure that I'm getting my money's worth out of a candidate. So I like some of this is kind of, um, I can see where some of this is coming from, but at the same time, no company is owed to hire you. And as a uh, as someone that is applying for work, you need to keep in mind that there's many jobs out there. You just got to apply for them. And you're probably going to get turned down. Uh, the, the path of success is probably uh, paved in rejection and failure. It's kind of like the uh, one of the best life lessons you can give someone is Try and fail and try again until you succeed. Um, that, that's really all I have. Uh, leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are. Smash the like and subscribe button on all platforms. But most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.